Unity is a game engine, and I use it quite extensively. Well, that is literally the only engine I use, but I know a lot of things about Unity. I've used it since 2017, but I also used Unity 4 and Unity 5 for some reason. But quite recently you can see me complaining about it uh, quite a lot actually. So I thought it would be a great time to complain about it a lot, but you know, from my past experience with criticism, uh, could you go away? Let's start off simple. Default Unity buttons, default Unity scroll bars, default Unity sliders, default Unity everything. Yeah, if you don't know, you might not know, but Unity, a very long time ago, it it wasn't known as a game engine, it was it was thought as a joke. Unity had its crown of being an asset flip maker, and that's what people thought about it. There were so many children stopping random assets and then calling it a game. But then also, like, if these people w would create a main menu, what would they do? Would they make their own buttons and their own UI? No! They would use the stupid default Unity buttons, and honestly, we had them since the literal beginning. But these things are extremely outdated, could you please just change them? Every single time I start a new project, I either just remove the background completely from my button or do this. I know I'll you, but I would prefer this over this in a random game. Oh, wh what are you complaining about? That's w one step that you need to make. And if you are going to complain about it so much, then make your own. Well, see, that's the problem. I am me. I will probably do that. But I also take parts in game jams, and the worst thing about game jams is that not only you need to make a game, but also play. Which I know that that is a problem that cannot be solved, because every single default thing will be a default thing, and if you don't change it, then it will suck just as this thing that we have currently. But do something, do some kind of refresh, you, you gave us the ability to, to enable dark mode on personal editions of your editor, could you please just remove this garbage, put it in the garbage bin and light it on fire? Because no, I won't replace those stupid images, I am too lazy. Have you heard about TextMesh Pro? You haven't? Well, then learn about it because everybody is using it. So back when Unity was made they used uh, sprites as fonts. But I am trying to say here that TextMesh Pro is great. I have one problem. Why is it TextMesh Pro, not text? When TextMesh Pro was introduced, it was in beta, so what they have done, they've put it on the asset store and you had to download it for every project. Yeah, it wasn't included, like at all. Which is okay, but then when it was finally time to merge, what did they do? ZERO! And don't say that it's about compatibility, okay? Because I know, when they've introduced the package manager, the old projects were incompatible. Let me switch to my second screen. Well, this is an issue. Every asset needed to be updated to work with the package manager, and old versions of those assets wouldn't work with it, so we had to upgrade it either ways. So what is even the point? Why is it in just included? But okay, maybe somebody would like to use that text. No, they don't. Now, TextMesh Pro is a little bit more integrated, but you know, if I am just a beginner and I would like to display some kind of font on my screen, I click Create, UI, and then what is this? We have text at the top and TextMesh Pro at the bottom. What is the difference? Text, I know what it means. TextMesh Pro, I don't really know what it means. I will use text. Can you blame that kind of person? They've just started out. U Unity is quite confusing, which is an issue that you cannot fix. Something that I wouldn't say so much about Blender. Please just... So what is holding you back? Like, just just merge it. Oh, what what is it? Compatibility? Because the uh, package ID will be not whatever. But that doesn't end there. I recently released QASIC. Anyways, it's on the asset store, maybe it isn't, who knows. When making it, I learned what a complete and awful pain Unity is to work with when you are trying to make a tool. Let's open up Unity 5 and look at all of those features that are just stupid and awful. Text needs to be replaced, and I know uh, in Unity 5 I think that's when they introduced TextMesh Pro, but uh, they took it down from the asset store, so now you cannot download it. Thanks, Unity. Input system, it's quite outdated, like, honestly. The whole UI system, it's great, but 
why is it there? Why can it be its own thing? Or maybe even at the particle system, as much as people love it. Sorry, this is really outdated. This is just a long list and then you organized it into groups, but these groups are all over the place. So what's the problem? It's now fixed. It isn't. I mean, it is kinda. So text, it got fixed, but we have the problem that we had now. <sighs> so, when you would like to create an update for something, what do you do? A. You update it. B. Make it its own separate thing. Well, Unity likes Bs. So, input system. All the outdated, stupid input system. I'll have this long list and whatever you need to do here, and you cannot remap patterns or anything. Make an entire new asset for it, and you need to download it. Oh, we have the UI that it is in its own separate thing, and it is always in the scene. You need to download a new package for it, but nobody uses it, and there is no documentation on tutorials for it, so there is literally no point in using it, and the old one still works, so what is even the point? We have the particle system, let's make a new one as the new package! And they did. So, I understand. You don't want to make everything free, because then, how do you make money? But, but if you give a tool to somebody, and slap a big made with unity on it, that person now represents you. This is widely known that there is more garbage than good things in life. So when you make everybody a representative, most people will represent you as total garbage in their own games, when they will use the default unity icons, buttons, the text, they will use Arial, they will use even text, not text mesh pro. They will use the old input system that doesn't even allow remapping. No render pipelines because they are too lazy for that. What do you gain in that sense? All of these things, like, you can look past them. They are not important. I mean, they are sometimes important and sometimes annoying, but you can live with them. What you can't live when your engine doesn't work. You open up Unity Hub. You open up Unity and what do you see, my dear friend? Oh, free errors, because why not? What did you do? It's a new project. Hmm, I would like to change the scriptable objects. Cannot capture when there is hotspot. What does that mean? And finally, you successfully are running your game on your phone. It took you one month. I would like to say that is a joke, but that is an actual story that happened. I am not trying to attack anybody, but in the YouTube space, uh, there is a lot of... Uh, lightly. Imbeciles that think that if they can make a game and somehow make it, then they know how to make a game. Well, they are mistaken. If you don't know, there is this uh, saying that you learn every single day of your life. Well, sadly, these people didn't get the memo. But then they would like to collaborate with each other, which not only looking at the fact that they cannot edit each other's code because, well, uh, they will die. And how do you actually do that? You can use Google Drive, but I don't. So luckily, Unity got recovered. There is this little button and you can upload things to the cloud and collaborate with your friends. It's integrated with the engine and takes only one button. You can download, upload, you can do everything. You can simply fix conflicts. Have you heard about Git? Well, Git is the thing that everybody uses for managing your files. And Git is not GitHub. Git is an open standard. And you can use Git with GitHub, GitLab, you can use... Actually, that's all the Git distributions that I know. So then how is it different from Unity Collab? Well, you know, Git is free. You can create an account or whatever platform you want right now. It takes some time getting used to. It took me four hours to learn about it and probably like a year to like know it for sure. But see, I am little YouTube idiot man, and I know everything, aka the basics, so I don't know how, I don't need to learn anymore, so this thing, it's garbage, because, because it's garbage. I will use a little Unity Collab one button thing. So, alright, okay, makes sense. I mean, it doesn't, you are just stupid. But still, your choice. Unity Collab makes sense, because it is quite simple to use. I mean, it may be not as advanced as Git, but it's there. And why do you need to pay for it? So, if you don't know, when it was introduced, they've made this uh, whole free trial thing and then they wanted to make it paid. As of making this video, Unity Teams is free for everyone, but that unfortunately ends this October. So what, what changed? Oh, now it's free. For free people. And if you want more people, it uh, sucks to be you. Which is okay. Understandable. It costs money and it is simple. Maybe that makes sense. 
maybe. But it's a little bit too simple. So, when I was researching this video, I wanted to get the day when I uh, made my own Unity account. Uh, you can't get that. Thanks, Unity. I thought that I would just check the first comment that I have ever made with Meanwhile in Extendries, aka my first ever game. Which wasn't very accurate, but it was the only solution that I had at the time. So what, I go into Unity dashboard, and then... Where is it? Okay, so then after so many years of just trying to find this project, and finally go to collab, there is no history. I search up how to see history in Unity ID, there is no history. There is history in Unity. There isn't even any information when was the thing created. Web interface is supposed to make it simpler to me to use, in while it makes it more complicated. So alright, alright, I go I go to Unity Hub, I download Meanwhile in Extendries, open it up in a new version of Unity because because guess what? I open up the project this but alright, it, it's understandable, the project is like 5 years old. But then I open the collab window and uh, it's a little bit more exceptions that I would like to see, my dear friend. And no, that window doesn't work, it won't show me the history, although it, I know it can. But it just won't, it just doesn't want to. Now it's time for the really, really fun part. As I said, Unity introduced Package Manager around probably 2018. What is it? Well, as the name says, the Package Manager can manage your packages. What does that mean? If you don't want some things in your project, you just get rid of them. If you want more things in your project, you just add them. So what? Like, it, it's, it's probably great, like, you do not need to copy anything or delete anything. You don't need to use the stupid embedded uh, Unity Asset Store window. Then why am I mentioning it now? See, it's because it doesn't work. For example, you would like to install URP. They open up the Unity Package Manager, then you wait. Okay, makes sense. It has to get the data from somewhere although it is extremely slow for some reason. So then it shows you in project. Well, that isn't really helpful. Then you have this, this, and then like... built in Unity Registry. What is the difference? Okay, so you go to Unity Registry, because it seems like it should be there. So then you select Unity Registry. Are you serious? Are we, do we actually need to wait once again? So finally you can search URP. It's not there. Okay, so then you go to built in. Is this a joke? Why do I need to keep waiting? Okay. URP, it's it's not there. This is a very common problem where people search up URP, it doesn't show up. They search up Universal Render Pipeline, it doesn't show up. What you are supposed to search is Universal RP. We are not going to use the full name, but we aren't even going to use the short name. We are just going to use this abomination, and it's of course in Unity Registry, because it is not built in, you dummy. There is a difference. Definitely. Okay, so then you go there again and... No, 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 hold up. I just refreshed it like 10 seconds ago. Why do I need to refresh it again? Okay, then search it up and Universal RP. Oh, thank God, because it's stupid searching from the 90s. We have a search engine from the 90s in Unity, because why not? You would like to get into networking, and Mirror is quite a good solution. So you open up the package manager and to import it. So then you open up Unity Asset Store Online, you add it to your assets, and then... Oh, it's not showing up. Oh, no, 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 my fault. Uh, there is this refresh button that I need to press. Okay, so there is this button, and you can press it, but there is also this arrow where you can choose to refresh list or manual resolve. Whatever, so you press the button and it does the same as the arrow. So what is the point of the button? What is the point of the arrow? Why are there two buttons that are doing the same thing? Well, technically they are one button, but still, what is the point of the arrow then? Fine, you refresh this and then you can finally import, but... Oh! Oh, I should probably write to the mirror devs that there is an issue. Oh no, wait a second, no, that's not mirror, that's... But you, you, Unity errors? Errors in package manager? So then you search it up, you ask people on mirror, and then you finally came to the conclusion that this issue is caused by the outdated package manager, which I don't really know how the package manager can be outdated. So then, how do you upgrade the package manager? The correct solution was, and the only correct solution, is to go to the package manager, search up the package manager, and update the package manager package from the package manager. 
Of course, that makes sense. That's not even the end. Imagine starting up a new project and then you have an error that doesn't allow you to even do anything. And it says enter same mode, which will literally do nothing. And what you are supposed to do is delete your project and make a new one for some reason. Because Unity said so. If whenever there is an issue with the package manager, when I import the package, I can press history and it will throw even more errors because I cannot revert. You cannot revert with Unity Collab. Okay, alright, there is a new update. So I updated my project to the Unity. I do a lot of things there. Luckily, I am using Git this time. But then I finally make a build for Android and it runs in 3 FPS because the Universal Render Pipeline is messed up in this version and you gotta wait for them to fix or I don't know what you are going to do. The biggest pain that we all feel every single day is when you have friends that work on a certain version of Unity and you would like to join their project but the version of Unity that they use is now unavailable which is just absolutely wonderful so everyone else needs to upgrade Unity just for you just so that you can use it and help others you can install Unity with the Unity Hub but it doesn't show every single version luckily there is Unity Archive but it also doesn't show every single version thank you very much Unity don't you love when you use Unit but then Unit says no and it just disappears forever and then they make the new service but there is no documentation nor tutorials and literally nobody is using them and there is uh, what are you expecting us to do Unity then? I really like Among Us I think it is a great game. I love how they use the text. Text. Not the text mesh pro. Because they are not like that. Because they picked it. They wanted text. They wanted the blurry images. Try making a menu. I dare you. So how do you make navigation for game paths? Well, it's simple. You just select this thing and it's automatic. But actually, if you go up from this button, it won't go to the downwards button. No, it will go to the window that is now disabled. Thank you very much, Unity. Oh, don't even get me started on the shader grab. I swear, shader grab, it doesn't work. It keeps loading every single second. How are you supposed to do anything? There is a reason that I stuck with Unity. It's a great engine, but recently, the more updates we get, we get even more errors. I want to see improvement, okay? But please, please, just make it a little bit more stable for us. And just stop slamming random things out of nowhere and do something with the package manager because that is certainly some kind of mistake. Well, that's it for today. Well, bye, stranger.